Engineering management is a management specialization that is concerned with the application of administrative principles in engineering, and this specialization is considered one of the modern disciplines in universities that study engineering sciences. Therefore, the engineering manager needs training in engineering sciences and management sciences 1. History of Engineering Management Stevens Institute of Technology so is believed to have the oldest department of engineering management, which was established as a college of business engineering in 1908. It was later called the Bachelor of Engineering Program in Engineering Management, then moved to the School of Systems and Institutions. Syracuse University established the first undergraduate degree in engineering management in the United States, which was first offered in 1957. Two, in 1967, the first undergraduate department explicitly titled Engineering Management was established at the Missouri University of Science and Technology, Missouri S&T, formerly the University of Missouri Roller, and before that the Missouri College of Mines. In 1959, Western Michigan University began offering an earlier bachelor's degree in modern engineering management titled Industrial Supervision, and in 1977, the university began offering a master's degree in manufacturing management, which was later renamed Engineering Management. Outside the United States, in Germany in particular, the first department focusing on engineering management was established in 1927 in Berlin. 3. In Turkey, Istanbul Technical University has the Department of Management Engineering established in 1982, which offers a number of graduate and undergraduate programs in management engineering. For, in the United Kingdom, the University of Warwick has a specialized department formerly known as the Work Industrial Group established in 1980, which offers a postgraduate program in the MBA Engineering. 5. Michigan Tech began an engineering management program in the College of Business and Economics in the fall of 2012. 6. In Canada, Memorial University of Newfoundland has started a full master's degree program in engineering management. 7. In Denmark, the Technical University of Denmark offers a master's program in engineering management in English. 8. In Pakistan, the University of Engineering and Technology in Taxila, the University of Engineering and Technology in Lahore, and the National University of Science and Technology offer admission to both MSc and PhD degrees in Engineering Management, while the Capital University of Science and Technology, NED University of Engineering and Technology and the Karachi Institute run the Ngulam Ishak Khan for Engineering Science and Technology, a master's program in Engineering Management. There is an alternative to this program within Quality Management. Cums Institute of Information Technology offers a Master of Project Management program to both local Pakistanis and those abroad as students on or off campus. In Italy, the Polytechnic University of Milan offers degrees in Management Engineering, nine among many other public or private and government accredited universities belonging to the same tertiary education degree classification. 10. In Russia, since 2014, the Faculty of Engineering Management of the Russian Presidential Academy of National Economy and Public Administration has been offering bachelor's and master's degrees in engineering management. In France, the École Polytechnique Féministique EPF, starting in January 2018, offers a two-year English language engineering and management major in the fourth and fifth years of the five-year Master of Engineering. The last two years are open to students who have completed an undergraduate engineering degree elsewhere. Study subject said it during the academic study of this major, the student will study the following subjects strategy management, risk management, accounting operations management, economics, project management, systems engineering, 
management information systems, quality control, human resource management. Project definition Just as a project here is a time-bound process or activity, that is, it has a start date and an end date, that is done once in order to provide a product or service with the aim of achieving beneficial change or creating added value. There is a difference between the fact that the project is a temporary one-time thing and the administrative or operational processes that take place on a permanent or semi-permanent basis in order to provide the same product or service over and over again. Project management does not necessarily require the same requirements as managing permanent administrative and operational processes, whether in terms of the required technical skills or work philosophy. Hence, we find the need to crystallize project management. Person 1992 defined a project as any series of activities or tasks that have specific objectives that must be accomplished within specific specifications, have a definite beginning and end, have financing, and use different sources of money, time, equipment and labor. Bremen and others 1995 attributed to Lesh and Turner 1990 the definition of a project as a new industrial investment unit which has some distinctive or unique features through the harmony of time and cost. According to one, a project is a unique process which consists of a set of coordinated and controlled activities through start and end dates taken to achieve the goal of conforming to specified requirements, including constraints in terms of cost, time and resources. According to two, a project is a time and cost constrained process to achieve a set of specific deliverables up to quality standards and requirements. Project Planning Justice Main Article Project Planning Project planning requires the development of a business structure, which will later become the basis of the project communication model. This model can be used later in evaluating the project by comparing it with regular measures of efficiency. Planning necessarily needs to align the project goals with the organization's strategy and then set key performance indicators to track performance. Difficulties and challenges The first challenge of project management is to ensure that the project is accomplished with adherence to specific constraints, and the second, more ambitious challenge, is to achieve optimization, in terms of allocating the required inputs in order to meet the previously established goals. An appropriate definition of a project is a set of activities that use resources whether money, people, materials, energy, space, arrangements, communications, quality, risks, etc. in order to achieve previously defined objectives. Balance between time and cost for a specific quality of a particular activity. The manager makes use of the materials, equipment and workers necessary to achieve the objective of the activity within the least cost limits. Considering that each activity must be implemented at the lowest cost, the entire project will be implemented at the lowest total cost. But in order to shorten the time required for a business, the cost of the business often increases. This may be achieved by increasing the number of workers, requesting additional working hours from existing workers or purchasing more efficient machinery and equipment. But for every work, there is a shorter time that cannot be exceeded, no matter how high the cost. This is called excavator plural. Excavators is a huge machine that is considered one of the heavy equipment dedicated to the huge works of demolishing, digging, dragging and lifting. The largest of these excavators works in extracting coal from surface mines, and the weight of the crane is about 2,000 tons. A typical excavator consists of a boom backhoe, a huge bucket, a truck and a driving platform. There is a rotating platform known as a house. Every movement and function of the excavator is dependent on the use of hydraulic pressure fluids, whether it is with its rams or engines. Special excavator used for demolition excavator for mining. 
oil pressure drilling rig, hydraulic. Huge coal excavator with a regular excavator next to it, Germany. Job set at digging trenches, holes and foundations. Material handling. Cutting operations for large tools. Also used to transport timber from forests. Demolition of buildings. Lifting large and heavy objects, such as lifting and placing bulky pipes. In excavation and dredging work. Configuration it. The excavator consists of different models and sizes that are manufactured according to the purpose required for it. The smallest model weighs about 1610 kilograms, 3549 pounds and 19 horsepower, and the largest model weighs 84980 kilograms, 187360 pounds and has a power between 513 and 580 horses. The main task of the engine in an excavator is to move the hydraulic pumps, as the hydraulic pumps work to do the movement in directions that can be controlled and directed by the excavator leader. There are usually three main pumps in the rig, and sometimes the number increases according to need and purpose. The function of the pumps is to transmit motion up to 5000 psi for single rams. The third pump is the experimental pumping for monitoring. This minimum pressure is about 700 psi and its function is to control the spool valves. This allows the required voltage to be reduced when operating and tuning. Learn about the most important heavy equipment used in the construction world. Heavy construction equipment. Names of heavy construction equipment. Construction equipment. Heavy construction equipment are large machines used to build roads, bridges, buildings and any other facilities, and their advantage lies in saving effort, time and material cost. The work accomplished by any of these equipment in one hour exceeds what many construction workers accomplish with manual equipment in a whole day. It is important to learn about the types of heavy equipment for construction and the most important use of it, which helps in knowing the rapid development taking place in the world of the construction industry. The basic types of such equipment include Earth moving equipment This equipment is used for excavation and leveling of land and rocks, and also to pave the way for the construction of bridges, buildings and roads. The most prominent earth-moving equipment is excavators and loaders. Excavators are used to dig trenches for pipes and sewers or dig channels, grooves and other intimidations, while loaders are used to dig, cut, move and transport soil, and even to clear the construction site of obstacles. Lifting and material handling equipment it helps to transport building materials from one place to another, whether by lifting those materials by hoisting machines that made it a lot easier in building the upper floors, or the cranes, which are the main nerve in giant projects. Without the cranes, the engineers would not have been able to reach the heights that the towers have reached today. Cement mixes its main advantage stands out in the combination of building materials with minimal effort and time. Cement mixes are among the most famous of these equipment, thanks to which it has become easy to mix cement, which is an essential material in any construction process. Transportation equipment as indicated by its name, its purpose is to help transport building materials or any of the other materials that are used in the construction process, the most important of which are dumpers. They are used to transport building materials over long distances, whether from quarries and mines to crushers or from crushers to construction sites. Also, Pumps are considered one of the basic heavy equipment, and the most widely used are concrete pumps that transport wet concrete to construction sites. As the construction industry continues to witness an exponential growth and acceleration around the world, the demand for heavy construction equipment is also increasing. 
And because the search for heavy equipment for construction is a difficult and delicate process that requires special expertise, and this process may be expensive in the event of buying used heavy equipment without being able to know the extent of its quality or its actual function and the extent to which it can be replaced with other equipment that is very suitable for purchasing it. Therefore, the site of equipment and machinery, the best site for the sale of heavy equipment in the UAE, always seeks to ensure the quality and quality of the heavy construction equipment offered for sale from new and used, as well as to secure the market needs of such equipment. Infrastructure networks equipment used in infrastructure works and their uses. Excavators 1 Crawler Excavators 2 Wheel Excavators 3 Suction Excavators 4 Long Range Excavators 5 Hydraulic Shovels 6 Draline Excavator JCB Trencher Jack Hummer Equipment Used in Infrastructure Works and Their Uses Excavators 1 Crawler Excavators It is used in Digging Trenches in Infrastructure Works Searching for Minerals and Grading Landscapes Features Good for Uneven Ground difficult to move ground, and sloping ground. Disadvantages. It is slower than the wheel excavator. It is sometimes called a crawler excavator, also referred to as a standard excavator crawler because it runs on two circular tracks instead of wheels. A crawler excavator uses hydraulic power, and although it is slower than a wheel excavator, its crawler chassis makes it more stable. This makes the crawler excavator a good choice for grading steep, rough or muddy landscapes its chain wheel system allows it to achieve better balance on uneven terrain. Two-wheel excavators it is used in, infrastructure works on flat, hard surfaces. Advantages. Moving materials quickly and easily and moving the equipment from one place to another easily. Disadvantages. Not practical in muddy or mountainous terrain. A wheel excavator is similar to a crawler excavator, standard, but it operates with wheels instead of tracks. Since the wheel excavator has less drag than a standard crawler excavator, it is better to use it on asphalt or concrete. While a wheel excavator is not suitable for sites with soft soil or hills and slopes, it is faster than a crawler when operating on a smooth hard surface. It is easy to maneuver and move. Three suction excavators used for fragile excavation works in infrastructure works, debris cleaning and underground projects. Advantages reduces the possibility of damaging the surrounding area or underground facilities. Disadvantages. The suction pipe is only 30 cm in diameter or less, which makes it unworkable for large projects. Also called vacuum excavators, suction excavators include a suction tube that ACTS as a high-pressure vacuum. The suction system works in conjunction with a water jet combined with the suction system, sucking up sand.